I know a lot of people like myself got this email from Active. It's New Year's resolution time, which means everybody's out to get healthy, join a gym, and lose some weight. So their email is elliptical versus treadmill, which is better for weight loss. In my professional opinion, this should say elliptical versus treadmill, which is safer for weight loss. Here's why. As you can see, our two examples here, this runner, as she loads her right leg, you see that left hip drop? That's not a good thing. You will have some sort of hip drop, but what's happening is now she's loading her joints unevenly along with some core imbalance with that weight shift. So now she's not loading her joints properly. She's overloading one side versus the other, and this could cause injury from the knee, the ankle, the hips, etc. So when people go from zero foundation, zero stability or strength, and they immediately go and try to run, this is not the safest avenue, even if it might burn the most calories. What's going to happen is now you're going to be injured and you're going to have to take even more time off. So the safest way is to focus on a healthy way of losing weight, maybe check out the nutrition, what are you eating, do low impact exercise like swimming, elliptical, cycling, do some foundational strength to get yourself ready to then go start running. So that'll eliminate some of this hip drop and get you on a healthier avenue and better for weight loss. If you are exercising right now, if you're curious about how many calories am I burning per hour, are they carbohydrate, are they fat, what training zone should I be in, zone two for more aerobic or a higher intensity for more anaerobic, and that's going to change you know, how many calories you're burning as well as long, along with recovery, reach out to us and we can help you identify all of these metrics.